how to do everything all over again. He was helpless like an infant, um, had to learn how to eat and walk and talk and do everything that a normal three-year-old would do all over again. Tonight, you're going to hear more from this mother saying one simple mistake almost killed her son. How she's fighting to change and to protect others. In just a matter of days, three Texas children died in hot vehicles, two in North Texas, another one out in Galveston. It's the kind of mistake one North Texas mother says her family suffered through. And she tells our Aaron Jones children keep dying because parents don't think it will happen to them. It tears you up thinking of the child in the car suffering. Michelle Stevenson heartbroken over the 11 month baby girl found dead in a hot car Friday. She says she can relate to this tragedy because she's been there. You know, I'm sure he was crying for us. And, you know, that is to think, you know, no one, we, we are as parents, we want to be there for our children always. And to think that there's ever a point when we're not. Uh, it's it's very very hard. On June 10th, 2015, Michelle's husband left their son Michael, who was three at the time, in a hot car. It happened after a change to their morning routine. Michelle had to be at work early, so her husband dropped her off first instead of taking Michael to daycare. So he got home. Um, our son's still sleeping in the back seat, and he was completely, you know, unaware. And about an hour later, her husband remembered his son was in the back seat. By then, he had already suffered six heat strokes. He was taken to the hospital, and in the days that followed, he needed constant medical attention. I had to learn how to do everything all over again. He was helpless, like an infant. Michelle says Michael was able to eventually make a full recovery, and now she's working with kidsandcars.org to advocate for the Hot Cars Act, hoping to prevent future tragedies. The Hot Cars Act of 2019 is a federal bill that would require the auto industry to add a sensor or something in the vehicle to remind you that someone might be left behind. I mean, it's a simple, simple thing that can be done to help. Before we have this act passed, we, we need to make sure that more people understand that it can happen to them. And one thing that Michelle says she always does and wants others to do too is when you get in your car, Put your belongings, such as your purse and your shoes, in the back seat with your kids. That way, when you get to your destination, it's just another reminder that you need to go back here. Live in Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Yeah, very easy tip there, uh, Aaron. Thank you very much. We appreciate it.